Set 35, separation confirmed. Ion SCV-007, Glory Scratia, separation confirmed. Ion, SCV-008, Pierce Franciscus, separation confirmed. Launcher, Orbiter SN-1, Space Tug, separation confirmed. Second ice eye satellite, separation confirmed. Skycraft, separation confirmed. Expected loss of signal, small wire. Figure 5, separation confirmed. Chimera Leo 1, separation confirmed.
Acquisition signal, boss. Dragonfly Aerospace, EOS Sat 1, separation confirmed. As you may have noticed, we were able to confirm 77 of the 82 deployments. Now, because the spacecraft on this mission are small sats and because some of them deploy in close proximity to another, it can be difficult for us to confirm the deployments in real time. I've heard from our teams that we likely won't be able to make confirmations in the next few mi minutes. So we're going to end our live broadcast here, but we'll provide an update on those final confirmations via our social media platforms as soon as we receive them. We want to thank you for watching today's launch, and we'll see you next time. Well, there you have it, space fans. That was uh, that's the end of uh, SpaceX's e uh, uh, Transporter Six launch. Pretty amazing uh, views that we got there at the end of those uh, those satellite deployments. It does sound like they've got some work to do to confirm uh, some of those final satellite deployments. They said seventy seven of the eighty two uh, deployment uh, actions of for the one fourteen uh, satellites uh, were. Uh, were confirmed. I did hear uh, a successful confirmation that the EOSAT-1 satellite did con um, uh, did uh, deploy. So that's really great news uh, for the EOSDA team that we spoke to earlier. And, uh, and so uh, they've got their job cut out for them now, making sure they can get contact with the spacecraft uh, with their ground stations around the world and, uh, and beginning that uh, that six month commissioning process that we uh, we heard them discuss uh, earlier today. Uh, I want to thank you all for joining us uh, today for this launch, the first launch of 2023. That was really exciting to see. And I was really just taken aback by the amazing video that we saw, not just of the launch itself, but all the way up through uh, stage separation, the booster landing. This was the 200th flight of a SpaceX, uh, 200th mission uh, for SpaceX 15th. Uh, flight for this specific Falcon 9 booster and the 161st landing uh, for SpaceX as well. Uh, and uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, they, they're off to a great start, what may be another record year uh, for SpaceX. They launched 61 missions in 2022, uh, uh, 31 missions in 2021. They may exceed that this year with all of the, uh, the, the, the flights they have uh, lined up, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, other big things to watch from SpaceX this year include the testing going on in South Texas uh, of their Starship uh, mission. Uh, and they do have at least one, if not two, private missions uh, for astronauts this year. The Polaris Dawn flight uh, coming up, as well as uh, with, with the billionaire Jared uh, Isaacman and his private crew. Uh, and that will include the first private spacewalk in history. So lots of good things uh, to look forward to. But in the meantime, uh, it's a big congratulations to our, our friends at EOS uh, uh, DA for their successful uh, EOSAT-1 launch today. Uh, and thank you for tuning in and keep looking up. We'll see you with the next launch. <laughs>